Shintaro returns home from school and is welcomed by Toa. He is surprised to see that she has already done the laundry. Toa explains she learned how to use the washing machine from the book she brought to Earth. Shintaro is amazed the book covers laundry too. Then, he is shocked to discover that Toa has washed his underwear. Although he is thankful, he feels awkward, especially when he sees that Toa has sewn a cute bear onto his underwear, where there was a hole. Toa asks if he likes the bear, but Shintaro suggests that he will handle his underwear from now on. He decides to wash his underwear himself every day. Meanwhile, Tsutsumi is in the bath and starts thinking about the girl she saw with Shintaro, who seemed to be flying. She wants to ask Shintaro about her, but feels hesitant. Tsutsumi wonders if she might be imagining things because people can't really fly. She decides she will ask Shintaro if she can make lunch for him again tomorrow. The next day, as Shintaro is leaving for school, Toa offers him the lunch she made. He hesitates, worried about explaining it at school. Seeing Toa look sad, he quickly agrees to take it. Toa asks him to come home soon for dinner, but Shintaro apologizes, explaining he has work and won't be back until after 9 p.m. At school, Shuichi invites Shintaro to have lunch together. When Shuichi and Satsumi see that Shintaro already has a lunchbox, they are surprised. Shintaro lies, saying he helped an old lady on the street and she rewarded him with the lunchbox. When he opens it, he finds a heart-shaped omelette and quickly eats it so Satsumi and Shuichi won't notice it. Tsutsumi suspects a girl made it for him since she knows his mom is out of town. While walking to work, Shintaro worries about what excuse he'll use for the lunchbox tomorrow. He realizes that his main problem is not wanting anyone to find out that he lives with a girl. Suddenly, a fortune teller approaches him. She tells him he's surrounded by girl trouble and offers to sell him charms for 30,000 yen to fix it. Shintaro thinks it's a scam and runs away. At work, his boss is glad to see him looking better and tells him that a new girl who started working two weeks ago will be on his shift. His boss reminds Shintaro to be nice to her. When Shintaro opens the changing room door, he accidentally walks in on the girl changing. She gets mad and slaps him. Afterward, she gives Shintaro a cold cloth for his face, which he apologizes for what happened. She introduces herself as Noel and asks Shintaro to forget the incident. Later, their boss lets them go home early and mentions new trial desserts in the break room fridge. Noel offers to leave if Shintaro doesn't want to eat with her, but he insists. When they notice the cherry dessert, the room suddenly gets very cold. Noel starts shivering, and when Shintaro tries to help, she tells him not to touch her and reveals she's a Yukiona, a snow spirit. Outside, customers ask to turn up the temperature. Shintaro, knowing angels are real, believes in snow spirits too. He notices that Noel's panic makes the snowstorm stronger and suggests they leave the cafe before she's discovered. They laugh together after realizing Noel accidentally took the dessert with her. Meanwhile, at home, Toa is playing video games. She looks at the clock and worries because Shintaro said he'd be back by 9 p.m., but he's late. Elsewhere, Satsumi is trying to study, but keeps thinking about Shintaro. She decides to take a break and heads to the convenience store. Meanwhile, Shintaro is surprised to learn that Noel go to the same school. Noel asks if he really believes her story about being a snow spirit, and Shintaro says he does because she said so. He admits in his thoughts that having already seen angels, he thought there might be devils too, but a snow spirit was unexpected. Noel explains that her family has a long history of Yuki Ona, mythical snow women, and she's unsure if it's genetic. She says that her mother and grandmother were also Yuki Ona, who create snowstorms when they feel strong emotions like anger, sadness, or embarrassment. Noelle struggles to control her emotions, unlike her family members, and this often results in unintended blizzards, pushing people away and making it hard for her to make friends. Despite this, she decided to change and started working as a waitress to improve her interaction with people. But it got complicated when Shintaro saw her changing. Shintaro comforts her, acknowledging her efforts and the courage it takes to change. He tells her she is doing well, especially in how she smiles at customers and says she is not a lost cause. It's the first time Noel has talked to someone outside her family about being a Yuki Ona, and she is grateful for his comforting words. Noel then asks if they can be friends as she has never really had any friends before. Shintaro agrees, making her very happy. Noel asks if Yuki Ona would melt and disappear if others saw them, to which she smiles and assures him she won't. Suddenly, they see a white feather and notice Toa flying above. Toa is happy to have found Shintaro. But at that moment, Tsutsumi arrives and is shocked to see Toa flying. Shintaro is reflecting on his life at that moment. 